thank you to everyone who's given me your support on Patreon in the last few weeks. I greatly appreciate it and plans are in motion to kick off a great Xbox One X series. The console is here, the 4K capture card's been ordered, and I'm researching screens to see what might work the best in my office. Any questions? Ask them in the comments and I'll answer as much as I can. Today we'll be taking a look at Destiny 2 on the PS4 and the Potato Masher. If you don't know, the Potato Masher is a $375 PC custom built in 2014 and designed to compete with the PS4 for the rest of its life cycle. The goal is not to pick on consoles, but to show that PC gaming can be just as good or better for the same money. This may also be useful for information for anyone gaming on a budget PC who's considering buying this game and wants to see how it performs, so let's get to it. Normally, I start by matching the resolution and frame rate of the PS4 and then seeing how well the masher does. However, the number one thing you've all been telling me ever since Destiny 2 was announced for PC was that you wanted to see it at 60 FPS on the masher. That and keyboard and mouse controls are probably the two biggest reasons anyone would want to play Destiny 2 on a PC versus a console, so today we're just going to go straight to 60 FPS. At a custom blend of mostly medium settings that you can see here, the masher is capable of a very smooth 60 FPS. I'd say it's locked at 60 about 95% of the time, with occasional sequences that drop a couple FPS every once in a while. The game doesn't support performance overlays like MSI Afterburner, so we'll have to make do with the in-game framerate counter. The game is so well optimized that framerate drops don't have huge frame timing spikes, so it really doesn't feel like a big deal. I'm sure with a little more time to mess with the settings I could get to an absolutely rock solid 60, but I think I've ended up at the sweet spot of visuals and performance that would be acceptable to most people. So at the same resolution but double the frame rate, how do the masher's visuals compare to the PS4? Quite well. Uh, despite my best efforts to match them, the fields of view on each platform still look slightly different, making direct comparisons slightly harder, but I think you'll be able to see what I'm referring to. There aren't many large differences, but from the first two hours of the game, I was able to find a few areas where the two platforms differ. The PS4 does appear to be running slightly better textures in some scenes, but they appear identical in others. The masher has much higher anisotropic texture filtering, which is why textures appear less blurry than the PS4 at large distances, so that narrows the gap in some cases, and the two look identical in others. The masher also has better ambient occlusion, but the difference is less noticeable than in most other games. Uh, lastly, I think the masher's anti-aliasing might be a little better, but the difference is so small I wouldn't worry about it. I think it's a credit to the game that it scales so well across multiple settings. I'd be comfortable lowering the settings as much as necessary to get good performance without worrying that the game's art style would be significantly compromised. Both platforms deliver what I would consider to be comparable visual quality. Now, again, the masher is doing this at 60 FPS compared to the PS4's 30, so what does that get you? For the sake of comparison, I'm currently using a controller to match footage, but even then, the doubled frame rate and reduced input latency make a big difference. Shooters are one of the genres that benefit the most from 60 FPS or greater frame rates, which is why most competitive console shooters sacrifice visuals to hit 60. Destiny 2 isn't able to do that, and the difference is very noticeable. Simply put, once you try the game at 60, I'd be very surprised if you were happy going back to 30. Oh yeah, we're not done at 60 FPS. This is a competitive shooter. Dropping to the low preset and 90% resolution scaling, the masher is able to hit between 80 and 100 FPS in most firefights. I've also increased the FOV to 100 and I'm using a mouse for this section. It looks worse than the PS4, but it plays twice as good. The CPU isn't capable of much more than 100 FPS, but if you have a variable refresh rate monitor, you'll notice even faster and smoother gameplay. If you just have a 60 Hz monitor and are okay with a little screen tearing, you'll enjoy reduced input latency. The game feels more responsive, and of course aiming with a mouse is much better in my opinion. Now, there are two ways to play Destiny 2 at 1440p on the masher. First, I crank the settings all the way up to very high and lock the frame rate at 30. It looks a little better than the custom medium settings I used at 1080p, but honestly I don't think it looks that much better. And 30 FPS is noticeably clunkier than 60, but you do gain the extra detail and sharpness that come from 1440p. Like I always say, if 1440p and 30fps is good enough for most PS4 Pro games, it's good enough for a $140 card from 2014. Hmm. Now, if that isn't good enough, I drop the settings to low, with 90% resolution scaling, and the masher is capable of 1440p at 60fps. I think it still looks fine at low settings, and this combination of frame rate and resolutions works great. I would totally play the game like this and have a great time doing it. Keeping those same low settings and 90% resolution scaling, the masher is also capable of 4K at 30fps. 
There's a much bigger bump to clarity and sharpness on a 4K screen, while 1080p screens look a little better than super sampled 1440p. I don't know that I'd recommend the Masher for 4K gaming anymore, it's definitely a budget rig, but in this game it does alright. This looks worse than the 4K mode on the PS4 Pro, as you'd expect, but it's a lot closer to the PS4 Pro than it is to the regular PS4 version of the game if you're okay playing at 30fps. I'm so glad Bungie put the time into optimizing this game so well. While it would have been great if the PS4 version could hit 60fps, both platforms look very good. The game scales well across most visual settings, it's very flexible depending on hardware, and it was solid all around. A solid win for the Potato Masher. Since I'll be making three videos for upcoming games once the Xbox One X series starts, I'm going to try releasing each video as it's ready instead of holding all three until the last one is ready. So in a few days, go check out the Masher Pro and see how it compares to the PS4 Pro in Destiny 2. If you enjoyed this video, consider supporting this channel and the Potato Masher project by tossing me a few bucks on Patreon or hit the like button. Thank you for your support, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.